All right, hello and welcome to another art video from the Brookings Arts Council. As always, my name is Shelby Meyer and today we're gonna do a little bit of painting. So I'm gonna go over some supplies here and then we'll get right into our project. So I do just have a regular white piece of paper. As always, it's just on my clipboard here. I do have a paintbrush. I have a paper towel that's kind of dirty. And then I have my paint water, which my paint water is really dirty too. I could use some fresh stuff. I have my paint. I just have primary colors today, but you're welcome to use any color that you want. I have some bubble wrap, which we're gonna use to paint with. And then I have a paper plate that again is dirty, but I'm just gonna reuse the same thing. Um, and not waste supplies. So getting right into it, I'm gonna squirt out a little bit more paint. I'm gonna end up using, I think I want blue today. So I'm gonna use my, a little bit more blue, not a lot, onto the paper plate. We're gonna use that as a palette. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water just to kind of loosen it up. You may or may not need to. I like mine to be a little bit kind of watery when I paint. I don't want it to be really chunky and like not flow very nice. And so I'm going to get some water. So you can see mine, oh, my string fell off just enough so that it kind of moves around pretty nice. And then I'm going to paint onto the side with the kind of texture on it. There's one side that's a little bit more smooth and then there's a side with the actual bubbles. I wanna paint right onto the actual bubbles themselves. And you're gonna paint, I'm gonna paint in the middle so that I can kind of hold on to the edges and not get paint on my hands. If you wanna paint the whole thing and just make sure and wash your hands really well when you're done, you are sure welcome to do that. Um, make sure that you're cleaning up after yourself so that your parents don't get upset with me. I'm gonna paint on here. So this is kind of like where painting meets like printmaking. Remember we did that print before with the paper plate? Um, we're using paint this time instead of marker, but kind of the same concept. Okay. And this is kind of gonna be the base of maybe a collage or something different. So it makes kind of a funny noise as I'm painting. And I use quite a bit of water, so I'm gonna get a really nice texture. I'm gonna wash my brush out really, really well before I push it down onto the paper because we don't want our brush to dry with water in it. But this is what we got. I got my bubble wrap all painted and it's all blue now. And I'm going to put it paint side down onto our paper so that it prints onto the paper or is transferred onto the paper. Push it down really well. Wanna make sure that you get every inch of it, not just the middle or the ends. Okay, and I'll pull it back up. So we got that. And then we got our paper print. Ooh, and my finger just went in it. And so this you could use as collage materials, or I think it's always really fun to use this as like a background, like pretend that this is like snow or like a background. And then you can add paper pieces on top to make kind of a cool landscape, um, but pretty open to whatever you want to do past this point. I wanted to show you kind of the printmaking technique with paint and that kind of stuff. And then kind of lets you use what you want past there. So like I said, a collage, it's always fun to use this kind of as a nice background and then to put some other pieces on top. Um, maybe you just like this the way it is and you're gonna let it dry and just frame this and that's great too. So kind of a shorter video today, but just something that maybe you didn't think about using some bubble wrap and some paint. Um, hope that your week is off to a great start and I'll see you next week.